Pierre has been called the most optimistic leadership and personal development coach and author combination in the world. Pierre's a Cheney alum. He also played arena football. He's been a campus director at major university, and he's also been a waiter. He served tables. Pierre has developed a reputation for helping leaders to do more with less resources and maximizing their human potential. He's a published author of a book called Simple Intelligence, G-O, which means Get Optimistic. And the book's about how acronyms and affirmations can truly work to your advantage. You can watch Pierre anytime on the Leadership Network, Network where he interviews successful leaders to share their stories and best practices with you. Visit PierreCamp.com, which is his website, and connect with him on Facebook or on Twitter at PierreCamp, and use the hashtag SimpleIntelligence. Pierre's goal is help you become the best leader you can be through positive reinforcement. Same rules. Get ready for the Pierre Camp You know what that makes me feel like? 
It makes me feel like I, I talked to the linebackers earlier, right? We we're on the field, and I told them, it, what it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like my nickname was Pep, y'all. So let, let's just clear that out of the way. And y'all can understand why. It makes me feel like if you could just imagine you going back and talking to yourself as a freshman in high school and doing like this and saying, these are the things that you should do because this will set you up for success. something to you individually, trust me, I've been watching. I've been watching with me, I've been watching the way you walk, the way you talk, what you're saying to your teammates, it all means something. Because all the hard work you do on the field, you gotta do the same hard work in your mind, in the school work. You gotta watch film. I'm just telling you the things that I wish I could tell myself when I was 17, 18, 19, when I was playing. When I'm this is what I'm doing right now, fellas. This is exactly what I'm doing. Pep is on this side. Pep is on this side. So when I look at you, I'm talking to myself. Is that making sense? Okay. This will happen to you. The most important thing you got to do is you got to see it. You got to see yourself winning. You got to see yourself making the movements. So if you could just allow me. If you can just pay attention a little and allow me to introduce a couple of things to you, a different mindset, a different mindset, a different way of thinking. Just a couple of things. Okay? So the first thing I want you to do, I want everybody in this room to do it now. Look, I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf. I speak all over the country, the different places, but I've never come back and speak to the wolf pack. So this is epic. You understand what I'm saying to you? Everybody right now, everybody in this room, put their finger up. Your index finger up. Rise them up. Rise them up. Everybody. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody. Very good. Now, I want you to do one thing. I want you to take this finger. I want you to put it in your face like this. And I want you to give it a big smile. You see my smile? I want y'all to look at this finger. All right? Y'all got it? Everybody got it? Looking good. Looking good. You got it? All right, good. Now, now hear me closely. Hear me closely, right? Here we go. What is in front of you? What do you see? Is it, what is it? Come on, talk to me. Number one, what do you see? Yourself. What do you see? Skin. Fingerprint. Fingerprint. Don't you notice that everybody in this room had a different perspective on the finger? Think about this. I asked multiple people, and some people said, I see a finger, I see this, I see that. That's called perceptions. And folks, fellas, ladies, what I want you to understand is perception is reality. Your perception, find a way to capture it all. That's something I learned a long time ago. Very good, you're taping it. Record it. Find a way to capture it all. Your perception is your reality. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Get your finger back up, come on. Come on, I didn't give you, I didn't give you the, come on y'all football players, man. I didn't give you the, get down, you know. Right now. There we go. You're looking at your fingerprint. You are right. That's your fingerprint. There is nobody in the world that has your fingerprint. Nobody before you, nobody after you, and nobody presently other than you has your fingerprint, Chris. Very important. Listen to me now. What does that mean? Individual. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a couple people talking to me. 
unique, one of a kind. Fellas, ladies, wolves, that means that you are an answer to a problem. That's the reason why you were born. How did the maker make billions of people in the world and come up with one fingerprint for you? Think about that. How is it, how is it that, how is it that we have billions of people in the world and there's a fingerprint for you? But guess what? We walk around sometimes and we doubt ourselves. We doubt our abilities. We doubt the fact that we look good. Sometimes we don't feel like we look good. We doubt our ability to, 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 to do good schoolwork. We doubt our ability on the field. We don't trust ourselves. Your difference. Find a way to capture it all. If some of you have pens, we're in school. You might want to write that down or record that. Your difference brings value to the marketplace. The marketplace is the outside world. You're playing football, but guess what? Your coaches are not only wanting to win, and yes, we're gonna talk about that too, but you know what else they're doing? They're grooming you to be me. They're grooming you to be men. So you have to listen to them very carefully. They may be older than you. They may be, they may be a young person. Whatever it is, they love you. And sometimes when they're telling you some things, you have to be very careful. You have to pay attention because they're trying to, guess what they're trying to do? Trying to prevent you from falling into a hole that many players before them, before you, have fallen into. Y'all can put your finger down. Come on, fellas. Listen to me. Listen to me. Your difference brings value to the marketplace. Very important. Don't ever doubt yourself anymore. It's something I say in simple intelligence all the time. Doubt. Again, defensive end, sophomore in the field. Uh, Pierre, uh, T brought back the fire that was in my heart in previous years. I was doubting myself because I didn't have the best offseason. He let me know I was good enough and the team was good enough. I've seen fire in people's eyes that I haven't seen since I got here, I mean, even when I first got here as a freshman at Walt Ford. Um, I really thought it had a great impact on the team. Everybody's ready to win. Everybody's positive. Everybody wants to win. Nobody's downplaying on nobody. The coaches seem uplifted. I, I know I feel uplifted. I'm just thankful I got to hear that word. You heard Coach say the, the title of my book. The title of my book is Simple Intelligence. Go. Get optimistic. I'm saying let's go all the time. I'm saying let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm saying let's go because go means get optimistic. Chain University, I played at Chain University, I won one game. But you're looking at a man that is a champion. I'm going to show you how to be a champion. Because it is in the mind. I'm going to show you, right? Here's the book, Simple Intelligence. Been walking around with a guy for a two days. He didn't realize. He didn't know. He don't know. Don't know. I'm telling you, don't know what you don't know. That's one of the things that I learned. I've been with you two days, and you don't know what you don't. Who wants this book? Okay. All right. So it seems like everybody in this room wants this book. Can I agree on that? Everybody say yeah. Yeah, I'm watching you. Okay, all right. So, simple intelligence is going to help you to get optimistic because that's what I need. We won one game, and I'm going to show you how I became a champion. I was already a champion when I was at champion. But what I want you to understand is you got to believe in yourself, like I just showed you with the fingerprint. And guess what? You got to believe in your teammate. You can't talk bad about your teammate, fellas. Listen to me very carefully. When you talk, when you speak, when you think, the good book says, as a man think, so is he. When you speak, you speak things into existence. Are you getting that? When you speak, oh, he's a punk. He can't play. He's God, son. Guess what? 
you're speaking that into your teammate's life that you got to go out on a battlefield with. Pay attention to me very closely because these are the things that I wanted to, I wish I, wish I could have said to myself when I was here when I was 17, 18, 19. Come on. You want to win a championship? Come on, players. Come on, Wolf Pack. You want to win a championship? This is how you do it. Talk to coach. Volleyball coach, she's sitting back there. Y'all, y'all give it up. Because she brought her plays. Y'all give it up for the volleyball coach. Y'all give it up for her. Because that's, you know, a lot, of people, a lot of people have limitations to come to something like this. But they don't take advantage. And I want you to understand that there's, that there's something about taking advantage. You gotta take advantage. My name is Isaac Leonard, uh, Trinity University football team. I play offense, right guard. And um, when Ms. Pierre came to talk to us, he was a great motivational speaker. Uh, I felt as though he touched my heart and all, uh, a lot of men on this team because a lot of men on this team doesn't have men in their life. I was lucky enough to have a man in my life, which was my father. But uh, sometimes it's hard to see your father because that's the only one in your life. But then hearing another, hearing another thing from Mr. Pierre, it kind of solidified and backed it up. And he said the same thing my father said. So then it basically sets a new purpose and meaning in your heart. And uh, uh, I felt as though he made he helped a lot of guys. He helped a lot of guys move forward and become men just by talking to him and seeing another man. That's the real best way that makes you want to become one. So I felt as though he touched everybody on this team because even in the locker room, walking around on campus, throughout campus, I hear, hear, hear even people talking about him, books he gave out. I even see people read him who I felt wouldn't read him. People just would go grab him just to grab him. I actually seen him read him and saying, man, this is some deep stuff. So it was though he touched a lot of people, including myself. I appreciate it. The difference is what's in your mind. Your mental toughness is here. Everybody goes out on the field right now. Fellas, you gotta understand. Everybody, everybody's out in camp right now. Everybody's in camp. What I'm saying to you is it's all in your mind. Everybody is practicing on the field. Everybody is doing that. So if you have ball players that are that good, and you have another ball player that's that good, what's the difference? The difference maker is here. Your mental toughness. Your mental toughness. You want to go to the league? You want to start at Cheney University. Do you want to be a champion to work out for the Buffalo Bills? They told me the same thing. And I tried out the team and the team and the team until I got here's the thing. But you gotta understand, you get in where you fit in. Not everybody can play in the NFL. But there are different levels of professional football. And with your fingerprint, you can make a difference. And you may have an opportunity to play on a different team. But you gotta want it. You gotta want it. There's a, there's a motivational speaker. I'm sure all of y'all have heard of him. His name is Eric Thomas, right? Y'all heard of him? Mm -hmm. He said you gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe. And that's what I did. So the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because you gotta understand this. Before you play the game, you gotta see it. You gotta believe it. You gotta believe that you, you gotta give yourself an opportunity to win. So right now, everybody in this room, I want you to get it in your Somebody else! Oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute! What you play, what you play? Say what you play. Loud back. Okay, I have a question, I have a question. Come here, bro. Y'all need to give him a round of applause. What, what you thought 
was your perception. And what you have to understand is a very good thing. There's a lesson here. Y'all gotta get this. Y'all gotta get this, man. Y'all gotta get this. Y'all gotta get this. A champion. A champion goes and gets. Shannon Birch, outside linebacker, senior captain. He, it was great because me as a captain, I've been a captain for three years. One at linebacker and then two on the team. And with that, I always used to doubt myself because I never wanted to be hypocritical. But Gio, get optimistic, was the goal. It was the motto. And from him being from Cheney, it can show that you can go anywhere and do anything and achieve your goals because it's all in the mind. Mental toughness, baby. Go Wolves. Did y'all get it, though? Did y'all get it? Did y'all get it? If you want it, you got to go get it. Do you want to start? Or do you want to just be on the team? Do you want to be a champion? Or do you just want to play? It's here. It's here. So, here's what I want you to do. Remember, this is not just motivation, inspiration. Here's what's the key. The key to this whole thing. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. But don't fall asleep. I know you did two days today. I, that's another reason why I went out there, because I wanted to experience it with you. I want you to all close your eyes right now. All close your eyes right now. Pay attention, pay attention. Come on, come on. You got to get this. First game of the season, Cheney University. Somebody ran it back? Who picked it up? Okay, Isaiah picked it up. He ran it back for a touchdown. Bam! Touchdown! Now, we're on kickoff. What we're gonna do, we're gonna kick the ball off. All right, everybody, come on. Keep your eyes closed. Listen to me very carefully now. Oh, I can hear it. Come on. Come on, everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the ball's kicked off. It's up in the air. And we return it. We catch it. Who's the returner back there? He catches the ball. Somebody makes a block for him. Can you see it? Can you see it? Keep your eyes closed. Can you see it? Ah, somebody gets another block. Boom! There's another block. Boom! There's another block. And guess what? Everybody's turning up the sideline. He's turning up the sideline. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And so, baby! Oh! Orlando Ransom, super back. Brothers Don't Care's presentation was an awesome one. He says a lot of things that people wouldn't usually say. They think a lot of times, but they don't express it physically. It's that presentation I feel as though can bring out the best in this team. And I see a lot of people that usually didn't step up changing. A linebacker, all PSAC linebacker like Isaiah, uh, stepped up the ne very next day, emotionally, running in the morning, things like that, bringing energy. It gave me energy. I didn't even have energy to do it, but when I seen him step up, it just made a difference in my day. A guy like Pierre can change more than one person. He can change more than just a scene. He can change the world because if you make an impact on one person, it will go on to the next person and the next person, and that's how we change the world. So I feel as though a presentation like Pierre and a guy like Pierre can change the world. Speaking that into your play as your teammates. So I want you to look at the person next to you. I know it's a lot. I know it's not a girl. I know, I know. And I want you to say, I got your back. Did he look like he really had your back? No. All right, all right let's, let's try again. Because, you see, it's very important. It's very important now. Let's do it again. And say it like you mean it. You see, I'm working your mind because you got to understand, this is a tool that needs to be worked, just like you work on a field. You ready? You ready? You ready? Tell them. Now everybody, I want y'all, everybody, everybody, everybody. I want y'all to rise right now, rise. Everybody rise right now, quick. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Yeah. 
Listen to me. Listen to me. I want y'all to look up. I said, who wants this book? And everybody said, yeah. Okay, and I asked y'all another time. I said, who wants this book? And y'all just said, yeah. What, what you thought was your perception. And what you have to understand is there's a lesson here. Y'all gotta get this. Y'all gotta get this, man. Y'all gotta get this. Y'all gotta get this. A champion, a champion goes and gets 